Okay, I think I might have figured out my little issue with Soul Blazer. So, hopefully, well, I say it was my issue with Soul Blazer, more like it was my issue with the uh, OBS, or more likely my own my my issue with my own ignorance on such matters. So let's give this another shot. Oh, and here's the story. Wise men tell a tale late at night of a great king destroyed by the temptation of evil. The Frail Empire, as it was called in those days, was ruled by a powerful man, King Magritte. It seems most people thought the king was a fair and kind ruler. There were some, however, who felt the king himself was ruled by greed. One day, the king happened to overhear two guards talking about a man named Dr. Leo. Now, Dr. Leo was considered by all to be a great inventor and a genius. The king stayed up many nights wondering how he could use this great inventor to make him even more wealthy. All of a sudden, the king had an idea. He ordered his guards to capture Dr. Leo and bring him to the castle at once. Soon, Dr. Leo was brought to the castle. The king confined him in a small room and ordered him to invent a machine that would summon the King of Evil, Death Toll. Cause that was a good idea, right? Dr. Leo finally completed the machine. The king instantly called upon Death Toll, hoping they would strike a deal. After many days, the deal was complete. The king would bring Death Toll all living creatures, and in return, Death Toll would give him a gold piece for each. One by one, all living creatures began to disappear. Soon the world was completely empty. Two people were watching this catastrophe. The master, and you, his father. The king was very foolish to be tempted by evil. However, I will give him another chance. You must go down to earth and revive the world, the master said. On a ray of light, you descended to earth. A warrior sent to revive the living and punish the evil. A soul blazer. And that's all the backstory you need. The king was stupid. And yay, apparently it really is working. Great. Alright. Had to get it eventually. A voice came from above. My followers, since you will be able to speak with all living things, you should have a name. Please choose a name for yourself. And, like I said to myself earlier, I mean, the absolute most perfect name for an angelic being has got to be... Jim Bob. Because who would not trust a man named Jim Bob? Jim Bob! What an interesting name! Alright, go and save the world for all creatures. Because, you know, that's my job. It's what I do. Jim Bob receives Sword of Life! Okay, and this is, that's how I equip things, yes. Now I'll go kill things with the Sword of Life. It's running fine. Awesome. Perfect. Now you can watch the crab walk in all its glory. It's really stupid, but that's probably one of my favorite things about this game. Just the crab walk. I mean, look at it. Not to mention, it's an incredibly useful thing to do. And that right there, this tiny room, more or less gives you the gist of the gameplay. No, Jim Bobriel. If I had enough, if I had enough, yeah, I would have named him Jim Bobriel. Enough room for text. But yeah, that right there is the basic gist of the game, right there. It's like, you defeat monsters. You destroy their lair. You seal the lair. You release souls. I used to live up in the sky just like you. Really, old man. Now I am living on Earth, away from the Master. All the creatures that have been captured by Death Dole are sealed away in monster lairs. Just if you set me free, you must free everyone. 
even the release of a small tree or creature, they will aid you in your quest. Here, take this. Jim Bob received the flame ball magic. Now I will join you. I am a magician, so that I can use all types of magic. I will use my skill to help you. Remember this, I need gems in order to use magic. When you set me free, the monsters left some small spheres of gold. This is what a gem looks like. Alright, let's work together to revive the world. You must go to the Grass Valley Shrine. And now the old man is a glowy blue orb. Old man? Oh, hey, God. Don't mind me, just got my glowy blue friend here. Uh, this place looks like a real sack of crap, don't it? Don't worry, that'll change. Hey look, a plant! Jim Bob heard a small voice. There are many creatures being held in the underground castle. If you can release those creatures, the village will be reconstructed. That's all full of verbose for a tulip. Or is that a rose of some kind? I can't really tell. ceiling monster layers, normally you'll release the souls of things, but uh, more uh, sometimes you'll also open up new pathways in dungeons. See, there we go, I released a soul. Jim Bob released an old woman! <laughs> and the house! You hear a sigh coming from inside the house. Yeah, I'll go chat with her later. Right now, let's look for the rest of this place. Although, first of all, I want to see how is it I use that magic. Well, I have to equip it first, I guess. Okay. That's how I use that magic. Alright. Awesome. And then I'm attacked by shrubbery. And slimes, because every RPG needs a slime. Well, and after all, this is a game that was made by Enix. They know all of our slimes, don't they? Ah, I got some medical herb. Agent of the Lord ingesting the herb. Okay, that guy was quicker than I thought. Again. Oh, wait, no, let's use the architecture of the level to help me here. If this were a grid, swinging the sword seems to hit, like, three grid areas in front of you, which is very handy. Jim Bob heard a faint voice coming from the jewel in the corner. Alright, come over here. <laughs> Seems awful demanding. I will give you some advice. Don't forget to equip things that you wish to use, or they will not work. Okay, so I'm guessing she, she assumes I have the mental capacity of a three-year-old. Actually, no, I know three-year-olds that are smarter than that. 
Jim Bob received experience. Would you like to return to Grass Valley? Yeah, sure. Alright, please continue. Let's go talk to that old woman I released. Old woman? She isn't all that old. My husband used to be the village chief. One day he suddenly disappeared along with the other villagers. I feel so lonely. How about being one of my children? Okay. So I'm being forcefully adopted. Alright, cool. Really? I will call you Jim Bob from now on. How did she know? Use the second floor as your own room. Well, at least I have a place to crash now. With, with, with a possessed chair? This is the room of the village chief. He used to sit and rock here for hours. I wonder when he is going to come back? No, you shouldn't be wondering anything. You're a chair. This is madness. Walking in the walls. Or enemies, I have to stop walking in the enemies. Okay, this should be easier. He says this, he gets hit. There we go. Now who, now who? I've released the tool shop owner! I released a tool! Wait. No, that's that's mean. I shouldn't be calling people that. People just leaving their gems lying around for me to take them. Swing and a miss. over here though, isn't he? Just felt like taking a little ride on the conveyor belt, that's all. I released a tulip. Also, it was a tulip. Jim Bob began to hear a small voice. There once was a water mill here before the village was destroyed. I hear there is a man in the mill who runs the elevator in the underground castle. This isn't a very castle-y looking underground castle, if that's what this is. I mean, it's impressive and all. Don't get me wrong. Oh crap. <laughs> wrong button. Oh dude, these, these guys shoot lightning bolts! Or lightning balls, I guess. Oh, I really gotta work on my aim with that thing. on the pad. Jim Bob released the bridge guard. Bees! Or something. I want to get rid of this guy right quick. Cool, level up. Power up. Oh, 
cool. Dream Rod. Yes, Dream, Dream Rod. That, I will tell you right now that that's an item that you just randomly pick up in the first dungeon and it becomes surprisingly important for the rest of the game. It's also very creepy the way it works. Yeah, the basic gist of the Dream Rod is if anyone is sleeping, you can just lay it on their head and you enter their dreams. You're going to see an example of it in the first, uh, first area. You're essentially spying on people in their dreams. Something seems rather off-putting about that. Jim Bob released Ivy. Not, not poison ivy, I guess. I hope not. I'm gonna have to climb down that. Oh no, you don't. Okay, I think that's just a shortcut back to the first area. Oh, <laughs> oh I just walked into that, didn't I? Jimbob release the water mill keeper. A man's voice came from inside the water mill. Darn it! This stupid wheel! It's so hard to turn! Sounds kind of upset about something, that man. And I guess this would be the elevator. Well, I know it's the elevator. I am an elevator, invented by Dr. Leo. I cannot move unless the water mill is turning. I always found it kind of strange in this game about how everything seems to be sentient. Everything. Kind of makes you wonder how horrifying it must be to go to the bathroom, both for you and the toilet. Alright, let's see what new friends we've released. Talk to this tulip. Feed store. There we go. Or tool shop. Hello, how may I help you? Oh, you are the one who released me. Whenever you use your medical herb, please come back, and I will give you another. Oh, man, I even got a dealer and everything perfect. I am the guard of the bridge. I guess it is not really necessary to guard such a small bridge. Please pass. You're the worst guard ever. Alright, what's your deal, man? Rotating this wheel will move the elevator in the underground castle. I am too weak to turn this wheel. Will you do it for me? So it's not enough that I saved your soul. You want me to do your job for you now, too. Yeah, that's good. Yes. So we all started the turn, power was transmitted to the underground castle. Man, you were really bad at that. Oh, no wonder, I was turning it the wrong way! By the way, don't you think this water mill is great? See, I can't help but think that was just a ruse for him to get somebody else to do his job for him. Move. I 
Wrong button again. There we go. Yes, aiming the soul is not an exact science. Jim Bob released an old man who looks exactly like the bridge guard and, and the man running the mill. Very small gene pool in this town. Jim Bob released a goat. Careful, I'm going to die. Which, you know, is rather stupid. There. Jim Bob released Lisa. You hear someone light hear some light snoring coming from inside the house. Uh, having your soul stolen is tiring work. I go, oh crap. <laughs> I guess, is what I was going to say. <laughs> Jim Bob released Tulip. There's a lot of Tulip souls in this town. Tulip is dominant species. And I, for one, welcome our Tulip overlords. Swing until you hit something. Jim Bob released an architect and a bitchin' set of stairs. Remember, if there's like a limit for how many gems you can carry, I honestly don't think there is. If there is, it's a pretty goddamn high one. Oh wait, no. I want to go that way. Let me go that way. It would be bees, ones. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it the hard way. The not the not so hard way. Have at the insect. Oh god, the insects! Oh god, more insects! At least these are a bit more obliging and decide to go in a straight line. Well, I use up my herb. Go back to the uh, lady in the tool shop and get another one, I guess. Wait, what am I doing? Blast! There. Alright, alright. All that work for... Another goat! Wait, no, maybe the tulips aren't the overlords then. Maybe the tulips are just like the house guard. The goats are the ones that are really in charge. Nobody would suspect the goats. <laughs> oh, 
always with the bees. Oh crap. Lightning man. Jimbob release tulip! Oh wait, fireball thanks. Yeah, seeing as I was beginning to look like the tulip population outnumbers the human population in this town, I'm thinking the whole tulip overlord thing isn't much of a stretch. Okay, now how do I get in there? Nope. There we go. If I go down, I'm taking it with me! Protect me, Angel! Oh wait, I'm an Angel. No, I didn't mean to do that. This is the heart of the underground castle. You may meet many monsters that cannot be defeated with that sword. You will be able to save those creatures once you return with the correct sword. Alright, are we talking about the people that are sealed in the monster layers, or are we talking about the monsters themselves? So, by saving them, you mean I'm killing them? Okay. Would you like to return to the grass valley? Not right now. Kind of in the middle of something. Oh wait, I accidentally said yes. Crap. Oh well, let's just go back. <laughs> it's honestly not like the map is that big. The further you get into the game, the more elaborate they are. But... Well, elaborate by the era's standards, anyway, I guess. Oh, it's not like I have very far to go back anyway. Wait, it'll be easier for me to go this way. Yes, yes it would. No, no it wouldn't. Okay, I tell you what. I'm trying to make things a bit easier on myself right out the gate. Of course, it occurs to me that uh, I'm almost dead. That's okay. That's what... That's what the good lord gave me magic for. Like, literally, the good lord gave me the magic. Or the master, I suppose, as he's called here. There we go. Jim Bob released an old man. I shouldn't have been holding old Ben hostage in the front. You hear a man screaming inside the house! <sighs> a ghost! A ghost! Jeez, maybe you would have been better off sealed. Yeah, I think we got one more layer down here. That I can't actually get to right now. Alright. This is where the Dream Rod comes into play. It's alright, it's probably a good idea for me to go back and chat with people I uh, released. Well, people, goats, and plant life, I should say. First off, let's go take a nap. Oh wait, I actually have to talk to the the old lady. <laughs> Jim Bob, you're just walking around doing nothing. Nothing, you say? 
I'm beginning to worry about you. Please, stay here and rest. So you want me to stay here and do nothing? Walking the streets, getting in trouble, falling in with the wrong tulips. Hello, may I help you? <laughs> Take whatever you need from my store. I only have medical herbs, though. So clearly that's what I'm taking. That's right, you better step up. Let's go see the goats. I wonder why people live in such small houses. Can you believe the village chief was swallowed up in one of the paintings? In the house on the hill? No, I really can't. I am known among my friends as something of a gourmet goat. I will only eat food sold at the tool shop. So, the medical herbs? over the world. Please, take this. Well, if you were watching over the world when all the shit hit the fan with death toll, then you were doing a really bad job. Unless your job description specifically says watch and nothing else. Now, here's a question. How do I talk to the old man that was uh, down that way? Can I reach him yet? And the tulip, for that matter. No, I can't reach them yet. I'm gonna need to unlock something else, I guess. It's been a while since I've played this game. I can't remember some of it. Now we'll just barge into the house of a sleeping woman. I never noticed this. I I, I never noticed this before, but uh, you can actually see the bed sheets moving. That's a detail that I would not expect them to put into this game. <laughs> My name is Gotti. I'm an architect. I'm hoping the things you build aren't as Gotti as your name. Ah, uh, bad joke. I built all the houses in this town. Come back later, and I will show you something. Fair enough. Oh, Tulip. I wonder who placed the boundary between dreams and reality. Sometimes things that happen in dreams come true in reality. Look, I don't need tulips getting all metaphysical on me. Okay? You, you need to relax. This was painted by Dr. Leo. A strange face has appeared. It's terrifying! There is a picture of the village chief in the banning. He appears to be sad. Sad faces terrify that man, I guess. Okay, so yeah, not only am I going to barge into the sleeping woman's house, I am going to invade her dreams with my strange stick. Yes. Jim Bob placed the dream rod on the girl's head. <laughs> Why, hello there, lady. Daddy, where are you? A voice full of sadness came from somewhere. Lisa, you must tell everything that you know to the person in front of you. They will also need my paintbrush to continue on. Daddy, is that you? Where are you, Daddy? I miss you so much! There was no answer. Dun dun dun! Who are you? Why am I here? <laughs> and she wakes up and finds the man of her dreams literally standing in her house. Oh my! Who are you? Get out of my house! Yeah, okay.
Okay, well, welcome back to SNES Sunday. Um, anyone who watched the previous week's episode of Soul Blazer would have noticed that it kind of cut off a bit abruptly there at the end of it. Yeah, my computer sort of crashed on me. It really doesn't seem to like me streaming Super Nintendo games for some reason. I don't understand what his beef is, but hey, there we go. Um, so I was going to attempt to, like, maybe start a bit earlier. You know, like, maybe earlier in the week I'd at least attempt to finish the first area here in Soul Blazer, but, uh, um, well, it took me a while to get everything straightened away again, and I just couldn't get the time, so... I'd say all I'm going to do now, this is just going to be a relatively brief brief episode of SNES Sunday. I'm just going to take the time to finish this area and probably leave it there just so I can cram the two videos together to make one full one. At least that's the plan for right now. After I get so far, I might say, hey, you know what, why not? I'll just carry on. But anyway, um, so yes, I just finished that one section of the Underground Palace, I invaded this poor woman's dreams, and she just yelled at me to get out of her house. If I remember correctly, that's where everything cut off on me. So, alright, cool, let's, let's run away. Wait, I'm sorry for yelling at you. Please come back and listen to my story. Yeah, okay. I had a very strange dream. It was about my father and someone who looked just like you. And you were there? And you were there! <laughs> my father told me to give his paintbrush to you and tell you all I know. The brush is all I have left from my father. I hid it somewhere. When you come back to me with that brush, I will tell you all I know. Gee, I wonder if the brush is going to be in that, uh... brush is going to be in that area I cleared. Hmm. Of course, I know it is, but hey. Crab walk. Right, so it should be over here. Yes, this section, because I was talking to Lisa over there. Which makes this... Jim Bob received Leo's brush! Jim Bob released an old man! Old man! Let's go have a chat with the old man, shall we? It's because I just completely finished the underground palace here now. So you may think to yourself, where else does he need to go then? Well, there's a reason why I have that paintbrush. The paintbrush becomes surprisingly important throughout the rest of the game. Since losing my wife to an illness, I noticed a goat hanging around my place. I was so lonely, I decided to keep the goat as a pet. Sadly, I see no goat. Hey lady, I found your old man's paintbrush, lady. Oh, you found my father's paintbrush. I will now tell you what I know. One day, as I returned from shopping, I found a note. Lisa pulled out the note and began to read. Lisa, I won't be able to see you for a while. If you have any problems, please see the village chief. Take care of your friends, Turbo the dog, Louie the dolphin, Gnome the snail, and Marie the doll. She has a very eclectic set of friends. The animals mentioned in the letter were once my father's pets. I don't understand what he is trying to say, though. I know you are a complete stranger, but will you please search for my father? Yeah, well, no one else seems willing to help you, I guess. Hmm. 
Leo's brush, the paintbrush used to paint the picture of the world of evil. That's that's pleasant. Before I go on to the next section, though, I should uh, stop by my adopted home, I suppose, and regain some health. I'm gonna need it. Just walking around doing nothing. Getting to worry about you. That woman only recently became my adopted mother, but already she's uh, on my case all the time. Jim Bob is dragged into the painting! Yeah, see, Dr. Dr. Leo is a bit strange when it comes to, uh, well, everything, really. The further we get into the game, the more you'll realize pretty much everything he invented or painted is... Well, it doesn't really behave as one would expect. Case in point, the man is quite literally painting worlds here. He's like magical Bob Ross. Well, Bob Ross is magical anyway, but an even more magical Bob Ross. Jim Bob released Tulip. No, I didn't mean to run into that. Quick way of doing it. Behold the mighty crab walk. Wait, no. Let's go this way first. Okay, I can't go that way. Position just low enough so the spear goes over my head. That's amazing. Least lonely goat. Poor goat. I have to go help that goat. There, stand here. Safest way. Least Ivy. Hey, medical herb. Of course, you can only have one medical herb at a time. Is the thing. So if you already got one in your inventory, you just automatically use the one you find. Oh crap! They're alive. The entire time I played this game as a kid, I never realized you can go from crab walk to slash just by holding the button. Interesting. Here. 
Well, that was a lot of unnecessary damage I just took. There. This is better. Yeah, you may be wondering what this thing is, and why it can't hurt us. You see, that belongs to this monster layer right here. And the thing about this game is that there are certain enemies that can only be damaged by certain swords. The sword I need to damage that enemy, I'm pretty sure I don't even get it yet. It's going to take a while. Like, I think I get it in the next area. So I'm gonna have to come back. Released a goat. So many goats in this place. As long as as many goats as there are tulips. Oh crap! That was an indestructible enemy. Oh, it occurred to me. I don't have the medical herb equipped. If I didn't. If I didn't do that, if I lose all my hit points, then I'm a I'm a die. So let's let's avoid that. Ah. <laughs> ah yes, a boar, a boar. Boy living in his little shack. Once again with the tulip. Who keeps putting these potted tulips just all over the place anyway? You know, that's considering if my uh, my theory that the tulips secretly run the town isn't true. Uh, yeah, see that monster lair is for those things. So I'll be leaving them for now. So ha. Crap. Okay, okay, this is this is gonna be a problem. Yeah, the magic from the soul is not exactly a precise instrument. I have to wait for it to swing into place. Unfortunately, I think doing that caused the other monster layer to reset. Or maybe it didn't! Okay, you know what? It's probably safer for him to come down and approach this from the bottom. Or not. Freedom! Now, so I can avoid the little, the little issue I did last time, let's save the game. Yes, so if it crashes, I don't have to do all that again. Hey, Goat. I don't know if there is such a thing as reincarnation. Even though I can't communicate with my husband, I enjoy his company.
Wait, you just said you don't believe in reincarnation, and yet you're certain that you're that man's... Boy, okay, yeah, alright, whatever. Who, who can question goat logic? Now let's track down all the other people I released. I still can't get in to see them, though, I don't think. I must release some ivy or something at some point. Probably over there, I'd say. That man and that tool. I believe I released this goat. You're the one who set me free, right? Come, I shall show you around. Please follow me. Hmm, got a goat tour. Excellent. This is the home of Dr. Leo the Inventor and his daughter, Lisa. Dr. Leo was a great painter as well as an inventor. One day, many soldiers came and took Dr. Leo away. Lisa has not been the same since. I'm working on it. Because at the top of this cliff contains a painting by Dr. Leo. I think the title of the painting is something like The World of Evil. Because he's a cheery man like that, I guess. This is a house people constructed for the goats. I'm not terribly fond of it. I did see something on the ground near the corner of the fence. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, there's a milk over the corner. <laughs> that said, I already got one, so... So, tour of the town, you mean just those three areas? I mean, it's not even really a big town. It's kind of lazy of you, isn't it? Oh boy, may have hidden something under one. I thought that no one was watching, but I saw him! Yeah, nobody expects the tulips to, you know, be looking for things here. Thing. I'm pretty sure, seeing as I'm going to stitch these recordings together, um, you're going to see this particular room twice. Because I'm pretty sure, prior to the crash, before, I had already collected that stuff. So let's just see, uh, let's just equip that. Hey! The more levels I gain, the better. Less chance that the boss is going to kill me. Oh, you scared me. This is our secret hut. We have hidden treasure near here. Hmm, a dreaming tulip. Jimba, place the dream rod on the tulip's petal. You have a awful lot of... you have some real high-flying dreams here, Mr. Joel. In my dreams, I can do anything I like. For example... Ha! Ah! Why don't you try and talk to the jewelry? Well, I keep talking to plants and goats, so... The monsters running all over in Dr. Leo's paintings cannot be defeated unless you have a special sword. You must find the special sword that can destroy metal. Return here once you have found the sword. Would you like to return to Grass Valley? Sure. Alright, please continue. Did they really need to drop me off there? is underneath the tulip. But is it underneath the tulip I can access? It wasn't that one, I guess. 
It wasn't you, because you're the one. Maybe it would be that one, I don't know. Because, I mean, if he saw... if the tulips saw them... Aha, there we go. There was a pass. I mean, it only makes sense, unless the tulips are also ambulatory, they couldn't have seen... anything other than that one. But yeah, well, look what I got. Pass made by the children of Grass Valley. Step aside, child. Hmm, that's a strange bottle. Is this where the children keep their hooch? You should not lose any gem. You will not lose any gem should your life meter reach. I'm assuming zero is what that's supposed to say. I think I'll still keep the herb equi equipped. At least until I use up, in which case I should probably switch it over to the bottle so I don't lose my gems. Anyway, let's carry along. They, they seem to be stuck in a loop here, so let's just let them build up, and then... There we go. And this would be the boss. Apparently he as well has mastered the crab walk. Shit. Okay, I'll just lure him over this way if I can. This isn't this isn't going well. This isn't going well at all. Magic doesn't hurt us. Okay, there we go. Why don't I just do that? One piece at a time. There's no need to be too hasty about this. He says as he takes another bit of unnecessary damage. Nope. This is utilize the crab walk. Actually, yeah, the crab walk is the best way to deal with this situation. What am I saying? The crab walk is the best way to deal with every situation. Ha! <laughs> See? What did I tell you? Crab walk. Works every time. And now the happy music. Welcome to my room. I finally feel like myself again. I have something to tell you. Please come back to my house. Well, let's go have a chat with the old man, shall we? Tch. 
and then get myself foolishly injured. I feel as though I have been surrounded by darkness. In that darkness, I heard my best friend Leo. He told me to give this brown stone to a person named Jim Bob. I don't know what the brown stone looks like, but this is a stone that I received from him the day before he disappeared. So, you don't know what it looks like, but you have a brown stone that you got from... Yeah, okay. Jim Bob received the brown stone. Suddenly, the master's voice came thundering down from the heavens. The brown stone you have is a key to open the world of evil. This is where Death Toll lives. Come back to me with the stone. Sure thing, boss. Dr. Leo has only a daughter named Lisa. I'll ask my wife to look after her until Dr. Leo returns. I have a chat with Lisa. Oh, you got here quick. I feel bad for Lisa having been separated from her parents. Some believe after a person dies, they will return in the form of a different creature. If this is true, I wonder what my mother is doing now. Maybe she came back as a doula. Seems to be the thing. Anyway, let's go have a chat with the master. Master. Voice came from above. The brown stone you received is one of six stones in this world. When all six of these stones are gathered, the gate leading to the world of evil shall be opened. Now you must go to Greenwood, where the next stone awaits you. Now, shall I or shall I not go to Greenwood, I wonder? I don't know, I'd prefer to keep the uh, different sections together, rather than just breeze right uh, through and sort of cram them together, because, uh, I mean, there's no uh, guarantee I'm going to be able to finish the second world now tonight, so um, what I might do instead is, like I said, just save this and stitch them together so that when I eventually upload this video to YouTube, they're all, like, one video. So uh, I'm planning on doing, like, probably one stream per world, now that I think I've got everything hopefully straightened away. So yeah, this is going to be a relatively short stream, I guess, but, uh, well, to be honest, I'm also kind of itching to play a bit more Fallout 4, which I'm probably going to do in a few minutes now after this. So I think for now, I'll just save it. Well, prior to saving, and how about we just go on over to the new place anyway, so we can take a look, huh? Behold, the world map. Yeah, let's stop right there, I guess, for now. And then I just vanish. And then the game gets all chill for a bit. <laughs> yes, normally I'm going to uh, make these uh, Super Nintendo streams a bit longer than this. It's just, as I said, this is a special case where... You know, I had a crash, and then I needed to try to get things back into a sensible order. So I'll just leave it here for now, and carry on with the uh, new area, this foresty area now, next time. Um, for now, though, I plan on taking a little break, maybe about 10-15 minutes, and then I'm going to hop back on stream with Fallout 4, because I haven't had as much opportunity to play that lately as I would like to. So, um, if anyone is watching, just, uh, you know, stick around for a bit, go get yourself a snack, something to drink, all that jazz, and, uh, 